Before we get into the video, I need you guys to do me a favour. Number one, like the video, also comment, let me know your thoughts on the case. Now this is a story of generational family failure in every aspect, in every single way. As a parent, your duty is supposed to be to ensure you raise your children, to know the difference between right and wrong, teach them how to be better human beings. However, when your child becomes an adult, the choices they make are on themselves. But when you go on a ride out with your adult children, something is fundamentally wrong. 51-year-old Elvis Grant, along with his two sons, 31-year-old Jamal Grant and 26-year-old Lamar Grant, had travelled to Overton Close in northwest London, Brent. They armed themselves with machetes and also bats, looking for 25-year-old Devon Jensen Wallace just after 6pm on June 1st of 2022. Now, Devon Jensen Wallace had met up with two friends shortly after 6pm himself. The trio were captured on CCTV, going to a few shops in Brent, and then just casually walking around the area. While settled on Overton Close, Elvis and his two sons, Jamal and Lamar, had crept out from the shadows by a group of bins, and then pincered Devon and his two mates. Devon was then confronted. Now this situation was said to have happened because Jamal Grant had previously been set upon and attacked. Now because the Grant family were considered dangerous, ruthless and also GMs, they quickly formed the opinion that Devon was behind the incident that happened to Jamal. So this was a case of potential retribution. Now police say that the Grant family was said to have shouted, you can't get away with this and you can't run. However, Devon and his mates had spun round and then attempted to do a mad run. Devon was chased down and then he was bladed in the right leg. Now he was found by emergency services in Henderson Close. He was given critical care by EMS and police. But sadly, just 45 minutes later, at 7.15pm, he was pronounced dead. Now police had seen the chase take place on camera, so there was evidence supporting what happened. So they canvassed the area and attempted to take statements for potential witnesses, local residences, but no one was talking. Now this was because Elvis Grant, Lamar Grant and also Jamal Grant had a reputation for being people you did not want to mess with, i.e. do not give the police fuel to arrest the Grant family, otherwise you could be targeted. Now police then acted out on the warrant when police searched the Grant household in Pitfield Way, Neasden, they found a baseball bat that had Lamar Grant's fingerprints on it. There was also red DNA that belonged to Devon on the bat. Now all three family members were convicted of DM and they're due to be sentenced soon. Condolences. Stay safe. Safe. <laughs>